Do you struggle with curling your hair? Do you wish that you could just have those effortless beachy waves, but curling your hair with a curling iron is just so frustrating and so annoying and so cumbersome? If you answered yes to those questions or you didn't, I'm here to review new to me hair tool, the Beach Waver S1.25. Apparently this makes it super simple to curl your hair at home, fuss free. So I'm gonna try it out with you guys today and see if it lives up to the hype. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Jessica. I am the blogger behind Miss More Style. Here on YouTube, I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. And I recently was invited by YouTube to go to the YouTube Beauty Festival, and it was such a fun day. We went and we came home with like the most insane swag bag full of beauty products and different things. And this Beach Waver tool was one of the things in my bag that I was the most excited about, and I wanted to come home and try out with you guys and see how it is. So this is the Beach Waver S 1.25. I believe this is a brand new style for them. It's this beautiful floral wrap that they have on it. They seem to have like a bunch of really fun different versions of this that come in like bright different colors and patterns and things. So this floral, very girly collection is their newest one. And I think it's very appropriate for me. This is a rotating curling iron. So let me just open it up. I want to note that the Beach Waver Company is a female founded and owned company, which I think is really, really cool. Ha. Huh. Is there anything else in there? Shipped in our new eco-friendly recyclable packaging. So apparently that box is recyclable, which is amazing. They've reduced this packaging by 50%. Their goal is to limit their environmental impact by improving supply chain efficiency and streamlining packaging. We encourage you to recycle. They have this uh, QR code inside that you can scan that has your manual. That way they don't have to print out more pieces of paper to tell you how to use it, which I think is pretty cool, but it's got a quick little getting started um, bit right here on the back. So this is a ceramic curling iron. I believe this is like the biggest size and they say this one is great for making loose undone waves for getting that sort of bouncy wavy blowout look. It's got a nine foot swivel cord. So I love that because then you don't get all kind of tangled up in your cord when you're maneuvering around your head. It's an ergonomic handle, which I have to say that does feel very ergonomic. Feels really good in my hand, actually. The different rotation uh, buttons there. You have the lovely Beach Waver logo. Apparently the home button right here uh, resets it at the center. I guess if it's twirled around, you push this button and it will reset itself back to where it needs to go. Your temperature indicator, and then you've got the um, temperature up and down buttons there. High-low adjustable speeds switch, so you can control how quickly the barrel rotates. It heats up between 290 degrees to 410 degrees Fahrenheit, so you can figure out what temperature you need for your hair. Personally, my hair is very coarse and thick, so I crank it all the way up to 410. You can use on all different hair types. It comes with a one-year limited manufacturer's warranty. Um, it also is travel safe. It has dual voltage, which is good to know for those of you who travel, because I just got back from Europe, and trust me, I have known from experience, there's nothing worse than bringing a heat styling tool with you to Europe that has the wrong voltage. <laughs> don't do that. Also has a safety feature in which it has a 30 minute auto shut off. I don't know if that means necessarily that it shuts off automatically if it knows that it hasn't been used. I know my GHD tools do that. Hopefully it doesn't just shut off after 30 minutes because I have a feeling I'm gonna take longer than 30 minutes to do my hair. It's just a fact of life, I have a lot of hair. It also has this really small little clamp which makes it kind of um, unique. And this kind of helps you to have a kink like kinkless wave. I'm really excited to try this out. I go ahead and power this on. I love how it shows you the temperature as it's heating up. So the first thing that I do whenever I am curling my hair or really doing my hair any type of way is I always section it off and do it section by section. I have a lot of hair. So usually it takes me at the quickest about 30-ish minutes to curl my whole head of hair. So it might take me a little bit longer than normal just because I'm figuring out how to use this thing. 257 right now. We're at 350 degrees. I want it to get a little bit hotter. Is it gonna get hotter? It does not seem to be heated up anymore. I thought I could get up to 410, but it doesn't seem I want to get above 350. So I guess that's what we're working with here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a section of hair here. And I guess what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to clip your hair in at about the end and you can leave a little bit out. I like to leave a little bit of my ends out of my curl just because that makes it look a little bit more undone. And then I guess you push the arrow. So I'm gonna push this one because I think I want it to go. Oh, okay, so you have to hold it down. Oh, woo! I curled that right up to my head. I'm just gonna hold it. And I have it on the slow speed right now. I wanted to start with the slow speed because I didn't want to go like too crazy with it. Um, okay, I wonder if I like do the other way. Will it un 
ha ha ha. Yep, it will. And then unclamp. Okay. That was pretty cool. Let's do another one. Hold it down. And you just let it go and you have it curled up how you want it. What happens if I just hit home? Oh, okay. It just undid it a little bit. I'm gonna unwind it and then unclamp. Okay, I like this. I think it's making a really nice curl so far. Speed it up a little bit. I'm going to switch it to fast curling speed. Stick some hair in there. That really doesn't seem like it was that much faster to be honest. Works. I just absolutely love like how girly this is. It's so cute. The whole colorway of it and the aesthetic is so me. Huh. Okay. You see like when the barrel like sometimes when you undo it it's like kind of like here's the the thing that it rests on the countertop with and this clamp should be like on the opposite side it should be over here but it's not because i was just winding it so when you push home it brings it back to the front so that's basically what that home button does I do think that this is kind of nice because usually when i do my hair i use a wand and with wands you may know you have to hold the end of your hair um up you know because there's no clamp and I prefer wands, especially the ones that I have, because it creates that more beachy, wavy look. But this is supposed to achieve that as well. And so what's cool about this is the fact that I can do it one-handed, which gives me, like, one hand free. So, like, both hands aren't constantly having to work. So that is something I really appreciate about it so far. I love with, like, the turning. Like, you can really keep rotating it until you get it really close up to your scalp, which, again with a wand I feel like it gets pretty precarious when you do that because your fingers are getting close to the heat um, with this you can get it like roll it right up in there and it gets really close so if you want to get more volume to the root of your hair that's really handy because you want to get that that um, bend that curl uh, as close up to the root of your hair as possible if you want more uh, volume on the top okay so one side is done and I think it looks really good so far and then hit the arrow that is the direction I want it to go Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Don't do it the wrong way, guys. One hand free. I can talk on the phone. I can text. Curls are looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. This is pretty effortless. If you do struggle with curling your own hair, I think this would make it really easy. I've reviewed another tool in the past. I believe it's called the Chi Lava. I forget what it was. I'll link it up in the eye and in the description box if you really want to check that out um, after this one. That was like a couple years ago that I reviewed that tool. And I feel like that has like a similar premise to this but this just makes it much more like it's so much more intuitive to use this than it is to use that thing i feel like that is like more gimmicky still like kind of achieves the same situation but like this just it's so much easier to use so if you've ever used one of these before or if you have one comment down below and let me know if you think that's true or you agree um but i i just think this so far this is really easy to use so I love tools that make my life easier, especially for like the back. It's really handy to have this self-rotating thing because it was always kind of difficult for me to get my hair curled like all the way up to the root in the back of my head. But with this, I can just let it roll until it gets there and let it sit. So that I think is a really handy thing about this. Far so good. And it's been pretty easy to use so far. So I'm going to uh, go a little bit more in uh, faster speed and go turn on my AC for a little bit because it is really hot in LA today. And I'm gonna stop yakking and speed this up a notch, okay? is all curled it is 350 now so it took me almost an hour to do that but I think it's because I was kind of like getting used to a new tool even though it is really easy to use it's just like a different a different way of curling my hair than I'm used to so I think over time as I get more accustomed to it I will be faster I really love the functionality of it I do want to mention that at one point while I was curling my hair it did power itself off 
and I think that was like the 30 minute mark. So I'm not really sure. I had also been on my phone for like a couple of minutes. So maybe it like sensed that I wasn't like using it anymore. I don't really know, but it wasn't that big of a deal. I just turned it back on and let it get back to 350 degrees. Not so bad. I'm going to get some uh, Garnier Fructis Volume Hairspray with 24 hour hold anti-humidity so that this will hopefully last. Overall, I love the look of this barrel. I think it makes some really nice, just bouncy, undone waves. Um, it looks really good. I feel like they have a good, like, uniform look to them, and it just looks adorable. It doesn't look like those, like, perfect curly ringlets. That's usually what I try to avoid. I want to look more, like, undone and more... Um, less fussy looking if that makes any sense and I think this really really achieved that so I think this is a really great tool especially if you do have challenges with other hair styling tools and you have a hard time curling your hair this really does make it super simple for you I do want to note that this retails for $149 so not the cheapest hair tool out there but um, I think it really does a great job it made my hair look really cute it looks really, really cute and aesthetic. So if it's something that you're looking to invest in, a good hair tool that helps you do it easier, I think the Beach Waver is a great option. If you have like shorter hair than me, you might wanna go for a smaller inch barrel. That way you get a little bit more of a bend in your hair. I find that the longer your hair is, the bigger of a barrel you can use because you just have a longer hair shaft for it to work with. That concludes this video and um, I have to give this Beach Waver two thumbs up. I really, really like it. Leave me a comment and let me know if you are thinking about getting one or if you have one. Um, what is your favorite hairstyling tool for curling your hair? I'm always curious to know. I've done a bunch of other hair tutorial styling tool videos in the past. So if you're in the market for something, you might find one from some of my previous videos that you might like. So I'll link that playlist down in the description box for you. I've also got these couple videos right here that you might be interested in if you enjoyed this one. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.